This episode, I'm gonna show you Tesla's standard feature, autopilot. It's different than full self-driving, and we're gonna take this down on the highway. Tesla's autopilot is a combination of a dynamic or radar cruise control and lane tracing assist. Um, so it has a feature where it kind of shows you over here. It has auto steer. Um, I have it activated to single pull, which means that once I'm rolling down on my on the highway, all I have to do is tap this once on a single pull and it will activate autopilot. And this is completely different than full self-driving. Like it just centers you in the middle of the lane as you're driving down the road on the highway and it slows down for you when the car in front of you or ahead of you is slowing down. So I'm quite excited to test it and show you guys. Um, it's like I said, it's a free and standard feature on all Teslas. You don't have to pay $200 a month, uh, which is the cost of the full self-driving. So I'm entering the main highway here in Vancouver. Um, we are turning into SR500. And this is about a six mile stretch. And when we get into our lane, uh, once we enter the highway here, um, I will engage the autopilot. So let me merge into this lane over here. It looks like the highway is actually very, very clear right now. It's, it's almost four o'clock in the afternoon and I'm quite surprised. So let me get, let get this guy past. As you can see, there is a car oncoming. So it was red, it was warning me. So let me get in the center lane here and get up to speed to 55. Tap this thing down, I just engage it. And you can tell with these two center lines, uh, what autopilot is doing is centering me um, in between the lane. And as you can see, my hands are off the wheel. You can also um, tell that autopilot and auto steer is engaged with this icon right here. This blue steering wheel um, icon right above the 57 miles an hour speed. So now that I have it engaged for a good 10, 15 seconds now, I'm quite curious to say or to know how long the car will prompt me to hold the steering wheel. Like I said, we are not on full self driving. Um, we are simply using the autopilot feature of the car. And so far, so good. Um, it's keeping me um, centered in my lane on the highway. Um, we are up to 61 miles an hour now. And uh, the wiper blades just, the wiper just turned on. I have it set on automatic. It sends a little drop of rain. As you can see, um, the car is slowing down. Uh, this Ford Explorer in front of me is slowing down a little so and I could really sense that the car is Reading out the road what's in front of it and just keep centering me in the current lane that I'm on And I have to say so far so good um, this highway is um, Going to convert into Interstate 5 in a minute here. I will be taking the very last exit and basically make a U-turn um, on the next exit, not this one. So I could show you coming back another um, another extended version of the auto steer. All right, so I will have to exit off the highway and I'm not touching the wheel, it's just curving on its own. Now it's prompting me to apply pressure. See that blue light right there. So I went ahead and put a little too much pressure which disengaged the auto steer because like I basically took over thinking that, you know, when I put too much pressure on it, auto steer just disengaged. So I'm currently um, driving the car on my own. So I'm gonna exit on the highway. Uh, we are exiting on the highway and then basically just make a U-turn and head back um, on the same highway. And once again, if you're just tuning into this episode, I cool thing about this car is that when you turn the signal, it shows you the camera on the side that you're turning so you can see your blind spot. It definitely helps you on a merging on the highway or if there's a car um, that you don't see on the mirror or on your, uh, on your blind spot. All right, so green arrow, so we're gonna merge onto the highway. 
That's me one-handing turning using the yoke, guys. I'm loving it so far for those of you who are interested or curious to see how I'm liking it. I've had it for about three weeks now. So as soon as I get up to about 55 miles an hour, I will engage autopilot. Turning onto my lane over here. There you go. And I'm engaging it now. There you go. Again, two center lanes that are blue and the blue steering wheel icon shows that you are engaged in autopilot. So, if I haven't said that enough clearly already, autopilot means full radar or dynamic cruise control where the car slows down for you if the car in front of you slows down and it accelerates if the car in front of you accelerates as well. As well. Um, it does keep a certain distance and I do want to highlight to adjust the distance uh, between yourself and the car in front of you, you use this knob right here. So you turn this knob to the right and then it creates a closer gap between you and the car in front of you. Four, three, but if you're driving on the highway at higher speed, 61 miles an hour, you want your distance to be as far as possible for safety. So I'm gonna put it to seven car distance in between me and the car ahead of me. So I've been using this knob to engage, to let the car know that I am very much in control. Um, this minivan is going to merge into our lane soon, but I am going a little faster than him, so he will have to be behind me. So, like I said, it's detecting this road, this lane on the right side here that is basically connecting or merging into the highway. So it went from a wider road into, and now it's going to detect the other lane right there. But it keeps me centered in my current lane which um, so far I am very, I'm quite impressed. You know, I wouldn't say I'm extremely impressed, um, but like the distance between me and the car um, is, is pretty good. Again, I am very much ready to take over the wheel or step on the brake pedal in case the car fails to slow down, but so far it has proven to be an excellent um, aid for driving. So we're simply going back the way we came in, as you can see. I'll keep this vlog maybe a little under 15 minutes if possible, but I do want to see a, and give you guys a raw footage, an uncut and raw footage, just to kind of show you um, the reality of owning a Tesla, the reality of um, the autopilot, its strength and weaknesses. So yeah, I mean, that's, why, that's the reason why I'm showing you guys this video. And thankfully, you know, with all this feature, it truly does make road tripping a lot easier because imagine if you're a little bit tired, well, you shouldn't be driving if you're a little bit tired, but if you are kind of tired, but you need to get somewhere, you knowing that this car has this feature that will slow down for you, or it keeps you center in the lane, or let's say you're swerving into another lane that it will help you correct all right, it's finally telling me to put pressure on the wheel right there. So I'm doing so. There you go. Now hands off the wheel. That's like, that's more like, that's well more than a minute. I will review this video later on and kind of see how often it tells me to put pressure on the wheel. But it's certainly not like 15 or 20 seconds just like other cars out there. I used to have a Toyota Corolla, a 2020 Corolla, and it has the auto centering or lane centering assist as well, um, but it tells me to keep my hand on the steering wheel every 15 seconds. And this Tesla is definitely much more advanced than any other car manufacturers out there. I will be taking an exit over here. This is my exit on 112th Avenue, so I will turn the signal and what happens is if when I turn the signal, I have to actually take over and and uh, change lane. And I did that. So I'm, at this point, I'm currently driving manually. It's actually me controlling the car now since I just got off the highway. Now you can use auto steer or autopilot on main roads. Like, you know, one of the main roads in your city. 
and but primarily most people or many people use it on the highway and freeway where the lanes are well marked and you're going on higher speed like 55 miles an hour or over so at this point we are on our city streets and I'm almost I'm a few miles away from home but again this video is all about autopilot and I have shown you how it's like so this is the part where I will end. That would be it for this episode. Thank you so much for sticking with me. I appreciate you. Um, if you like my content, you already know. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Adrian out.